Then on volume in the top right, you're gonna click this little diamond shape here. And this is called a keyframe. We're gonna dive deeper into keyframes here in a few minutes, but if you've never worked with keyframes before, you can kind of think of them as checkpoints. So if I click add keyframe, you can see after I click that button on my background music here within the layer, a little diamond appears and that is my keyframe. But what does that mean? When I click that button, I'm telling the software that at this point, I want my volume to be set at negative 15 decibels. I'm setting a checkpoint for a value. And the end result that we're looking for is to make our audio get louder. So in order to achieve that, we have to set another keyframe. Let's go a little bit further into our video here, right around the point where the transition ends. And now I could click add keyframe again to set another keyframe. But since I already did that earlier, if I just simply adjust the volume and make it louder, the software is gonna automatically create another keyframe. We can see that happening down here. And now our audio has gotten louder again. So to review, we set two checkpoints or two keyframes. At the beginning, it was set at negative 15 decibels. Then I set another keyframe later on for zero decibels to make it louder. And then between the two keyframes, an animation occurs between the values. So it goes from negative 15 and you can actually see it changing up here in real time as I scroll through and it just slowly gets louder. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about keyframes. They're not too hard, they're super simple. You're just setting two different values.